Turning now to some hometown happenings, after several months of public input studies and examinations of Warren County's volunteer fire departments, study results were revealed to the Warren County Fiscal Court today and to the volunteer department chiefs. WBK reporter Derek Parham joined the meeting to bring us the details on what changes have been recommended for the nine volunteer departments. In January, the Warren County Fiscal Court hired on an external company to find all of the existing holes in the Warren County Volunteer Fire Departments, from staffing to equipment issues, and ways to better serve the community. This report is pretty detailed. Uh, our fire chiefs are getting it for the first time. The Fiscal Court authorized, paid for, and hired Mission CIT. They've done a fantastic job on this report. In that report, 60 recommended changes are listed, ranging from increased funding to potential partnerships with the Bowling Green Fire Department and a possible switch to a hybrid paid and volunteer department model. The 60 changes could be implemented in a three-step plan broken down over five years, beginning with the hiring of a fire coordinator position. So it is a full gamut of things. It's a lot to digest, and fiscal court's going to have to take their time looking through these to see how what we can do, what we can't. The one thing that we were pretty excited about that the managers were able to do is they put in this year's budget uh, a fire coordinator, and that position's pretty important. At least that's the start of what could happen in the future for us. According to that report, the main issues that the departments are facing include a decrease in volunteer retention and an ever-growing need for those volunteers as the county continues to grow. The 60 recommendations were broken down into four main categories, and none of them are cheap solutions. One of them was just on equipment. That's always important, but I will tell you it's one of the most expensive things. Uh, no two ways about it right now, making a recommendation over the next several years of replacing older equipment, a 12 to $15 million price tag. That gives everyone a little pause, uh, but you have, to have, you have to have equipment that's going to work. The full 190-page report will be made available to the public tomorrow morning at warrencountyky.gov. Reporting in Warren County, Derek Parham, WBKO News.